Uh, my talk concerning uh, the land cover land use during the Bronze Age in one particular area of the Mediterranean territory, in particular in the Apulian region. Uh, this is an area uh, characterized uh, by a good data, a strong database uh, on archaeological sites, paleo environmental reconstruction, and archaebotanical analysis. Just to know, we publish uh, um, <laughs> data on the Neolithic and the Bronze Age from paleo uh, environmental reconstruction. These are the characteristics of Bronze Age, Bronze Age during the, uh, along the Apulian region. Uh, we speak about a region in a long coastal uh, distribution, a long coastal area. So um, our uh, changes are connected to the relationship between the sea, coastal area, inland, and the other area of the region. This is the chronological, chronocultural uh, division of the Bronze Age in the Apollo region. And uh, this is uh, our uh, database, uh, our uh, analysis. We begin with, with the uh, Apulian archaeological uh, occupation derived from the analysis uh, of uh, C14 uh, dates. And we uh, elaborate uh, a curve on the intensity of occupation. And the other one is an analysis on the basis of a GIS, GIS database of the different sites. This is our curve. Uh, this is the spot of our mm -hmm. period, the Bronze Age. And this is uh, our reconstruction from the Neolithic just to the Bronze Age. It's a, a spot that we made uh, in this talk by the work uh, that began 20 years ago on the, all the region. In particular, we arrived to define uh, probably a peak in the occupation, human occupation, and uh, this peak uh, is uh, distributed in uh, one of the three phases that normally characterize uh, the Bronze Age in the Apollo region. We try to differentiate the uh, distribution of population, intensity of population in different sub-regions coastal, inland, and subcoastal area. And we see the same trend for the peak during the second phase. Yeah, yeah. But with different trends connected to uh, what we have before and what we have after. This is, this is our uh, GIS database on the distribution of the sites. Uh, we speak about uh, 162 uh, sites, uh, archaeological sites excavated and survey uh, intensified sites. This is the database with, uh, that we use for the reconstruction of the relationship between landscape, land cover, and uh, human occupation of the area. During the first phase, uh, the early Bronze Age, we have this distribution of the size uh, differentiated uh, between islands, and coastal, and coastal. In particular, we have uh, a prevalence of island uh, sites and coastal sites with uh, a medium present of uh, uh, subcoastal sites and coastal occupation. We distinguish in our GIS uh, the sites with monophases uh, and pluriphases uh, uh, occupation. Uh, tentative is to uh, reconstruct the long durée of the occupation in the same area. This is the schema for the first phase. During the second phase, we uh, see a change. Uh, a change uh, in the number of the sites and uh, in the augmentation, the rise of subcoastal occupation. Also, we have uh, a reduction of monophase sites. During the third phase, we have a big, a strong change in the subcoastal occupation. We have a um, differentiation of coastal and inland occupation and reduction of uh, subcoastal sites and uh, with the uh, augmentation of monophase uh, sites. 
what is our interpretation of this uh, distribution of sites uh, and the faculties uh, of the disoccupation. We have a strong occupation during the middle phase. We have a strong uh, uh, think about the intensity of occupation in the region during the second phase. We have uh, a change of landscape dynamics, a landscape uh, um, distribution of the sites during the second phase, probably connected to a changes uh, in land use. And we have a trend uh, that we see from the second to third phase. What, what we have about land cover and land use database? And these data are uh, already published. This is uh, our analysis based on uh, archaeobotanical data. Mm, we use a charcoal analysis for land cover reconstruction, and we use uh, seed fruit analysis for the land use reconstruction. Uh, this is our total uh, database, uh, uh, 40,000 plant uh, material. And we, uh, we made, we tried, to reconstruct also the seasonal changes in the crop production. For example, using uh, uh, the presence of mele with a brief period of growing, for us is connected to a changes in rainfall regime, or using other type of crops uh, to reconstruct changes uh, in agricultural systems. This is our database for the land cover. We use uh, pollen analysis, isotopical analysis from different uh, uh, coasts in the uh, um, Adriatic Sea and the Ionian area. We use, uh, for example, uh, isotopical analysis uh, from sediments uh, in uh, coasts from Adriatic area and uh, isotopical analysis delta protein C in the uh, archaeobotanical material to perceive the direct changes in the climate and probably in rainfall regime directly on the sites. <coughs> but these are data that we know in general for the Mediterranean area. Our tentative is to uh, connect the different types of data. This is the land cover reconstructed from the charcoal analysis. For example, we see a particular trend in oaks present. From the early phase, uh, we have a drastic reduction in uh, mesophilus oak. We speak about Mediterranean area, so there are very important changes in oak type, oak species. We have a change in mesophilus, uh, mesophilus uh, oaks, a reduction probably connected uh, uh, to climatic change, a dryness in environments. But in the third phase, uh, for example, we have augmentation. This is not climatic, this is anthropic. There is a, a change in catchment area because in this moment we have an implementation of uh, subcoastal site, the use of subcoastal site, ill environment. Particular trend you can see in the uh, Olea uh, olive in, the, in this area that is connected to climate, but also to exploitation of the stream. We compare our data from archaeological uh, context uh, with pollen analysis in the region. And this is uh, our uh, uh, reconstruction for the crop. For example, we have the classical uh, uh, barley and wheat consumption during the early Bronze Age, connected to the typical uh, Mediterranean area. From the Neolithic, just to know we have the same trend. But during the Middle Bronze Age, we have an augmentation, for example, of pulses, other uh, cereals, and uh, the use uh, of tree fruits. This is connected to the use of a new environment, the subcoastal environment. This trend is marked in the third phase uh, when the use of tree fruits uh, is a strategy to uh, survive, to change the environment, uh, but also to uh, changes uh, in uh, catchment 
area in a different organization of the site and the territory. See, you can, you can see the peaks during the Middle Bronze Age, the changes in dynamics of anthropic occupation, and the changes in crop regime. All the data in this phase for us are strictly strong connected. Thank you.